Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is the 8th of June, 2023. We're going to talk about Algorand today to see if the market bottom has occurred in the market in Algorand. Because if so, then this may be the perfect opportunity to come in and purchase some of this cryptocurrency. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Because first of all, as I always do, I come through and show you all the price performance of the markets against what I thought price was going to do. You guys can see we did a video in Algorand on the 25th of May, looking for the price to go down. And that is exactly what the market in Algorand did. It went down. Okay. So pretty good call. Pretty good prediction. We got this correct. If you were to get out the market to here on June the 5th, nine and a quarter percent. If you were to get out the market today, that profit would increase to 18.81 percent. All right. So now, first of all, let's talk about this because the market currently in Algorand is not bullish. We haven't even found the bottom yet. So did the market hit bottom? My first question of this video. It doesn't look like it. Price currently is still trending well below this descending line, right? So that's the trend right now into the market in Algorand. Until we see this price break this descending line to the upside, we should not be bullish at all. Now, we are definitely seeing a massive breakaway from how price in Algorand was currently trending. You guys can see it was hugging this descending line until June the 5th where the market completely fell away so that kind of lets us know that the market may kind of be oversold okay meaning that it needs to come back up towards this descending line and that could be a very good run to the upside to come through and hit that descending line you guys can see it's around 22.6 percent so it's not that bad like it's, it's due it's, it's time for the market and algorithm to give us some uplifting price because i mean the whole year of algorithm has been nothing but merely price going lower let's go ahead and look at algorand real quick on a two-day chart you guys can see it right here again the market is giving us some weakness on that two-day price chart price bar here it is on a three-day we have 13 hours and 15 minutes left and the market currently is still giving us lack of interest doesn't about no one wants to come in and purchase this currency right now this is what these charts are reflecting here it is on the five okay so the next day in 14 hours, if we do in fact see Algorand close on the low of this current five-day price bar, then we still have to remain bull. I mean, not bullish, bearish. We need to remain bearish or have the idea that price in Algorand is weak. On the conclusion of this weekly price bar, again, seeing the price close down there on the weekly price bar, we still have to maintain that the overall market is still weak. Here it is on the two, here it is on the three, here it is on the five weeks and then last month okay so now we're looking at the chart for what it is and it doesn't look bullish it doesn't look bearish we may be trying to come in right now on the bottom into the market and the algorithm and try to play a weakness again which is why you, you necessarily don't want to do that you want to wait until the market gives us another emphasis or push to go up now look at all of these weakness five hour price bars so this one here to tell you that charts don't lie if you were to short the market right here in algorand on the close of this five hour price bar you would have already gained six and a half percent almost seven percent look at how weak like every five hour price bar has been merely nothing but weakness so what I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to leave this alone because I'm still looking for price to be weak in Algorand. But I think as much as as far as price has already gone lower, I am suspecting that price is going to try to come back up. And I want to wait to see how high price is going to move before I put on another prediction of expecting price to go down. Because here on the 30 minute chart, you guys can actually tell that we are finding a bottom on the 30 minute chart. Okay, you guys can see how price is hovering, is, is consolidating right there. So we may actually see the market in Algorand try to come back up, maybe just 12 and a half cents and come back down. But yeah, we're definitely are noticing how price in Algorand is not a buy at this particular moment. Now it could be a buy on a minute time frame, which simply means that you don't want to hold this too long. Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, I think we're going to wait, let the market and algorithm give us some more movement to the upside before I come back through and drop another price prediction to the downside. Like I said, that breakaway from this downtrend, we definitely need to be cognizant of. 
and make sure that we at least give this market an opportunity to breathe and come back up within this descending line and then we should be able to drop another price prediction so i'm just going to wait for that but all in all i'm here to tell you that from the charts the multiple daily time frames this market is not reflecting any hints of bullishness right now this is right now so let me just chill out zoom out let the market continue to work and play and then once we get something more concrete as to how bullish or how high price is going to go then we could drop another price prediction and we just need to find another play somewhere else give me your thoughts though make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different